you were the taller fighter tonight, uh, but it seemed like you were more effective fighting at a close distance. Did you feel you know that that was more effective for you? I mean, personally, uh, I feel as though I showed versatility. I feel as though I could have made it an easier fight from the inside or the outside. I feel as though he don't possess none of the skills that I had at all. Jab, you feel like he was effective? Jab was effective. Uh, body shots was effective. He was a real crafty little fighter. He tried to do little things such as turn his back so I would hit him in illegal spots, turn his head when the heat felt, when he felt as though the heat was being turned up. Uh, me being an astute fighter, I chose not to punch certain times because I noticed what he was trying to do, and the ref threatened to take points several times. So I, I had to be astute enough to make the adjustments to not take certain shots that was there because of the little trickery things he was doing. Was your game plan to fight to go to the body? Of course. The game plan is to touch him with uh, any opening. Um, obviously, your older brother still got the main event to go, but um, the crowd was obviously behind you. Uh, of, great of course, of course. I mean, it's my hometown. I expect my hometown to be behind me and support me through thick and thin. You know, uh, the experience competing here at the MGM National Harbor, uh, it was electric. You know, it's not the first time, but still, it's home. Not a lot of people get to come out and travel to see us participate in these events when we go into L.A. or this place or that place. So it, 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 it filled my heart up, you know, to know that I can excite them and give them something back, you know. What do you have planned um, for the rest of this year? You want to get right back in the ring? It was a quick stoppage. Uh, you stopped the guy quickly, so I'm assuming you'd, you'd like to get back in quickly. You know, I mean, I don't have no scars, no bruises. I'm still intact. I'm still in shape. You know, fight was quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, whatever my father slash coach says, that's, that's what goes. Okay. Antoine, could you have easily underestimated him considering just his overall presentation? Oh, not at all. Not at all. And actually, that was a big talk coming up, leading up to the fight. A lot of people were saying, oh, man, he got a baby. Uh, he fat. He out of shape. And I said, well, you know, Butterbean didn't look like he trained at all, but yet he was catching bodies down there in the ring. You know, he's still a dangerous man, so I didn't overlook him. Uh, I still carried him as a threat, and I listened to follow the instructions from my cornerman, and we executed. This is my third title defense. I've been trying to compete against any of the other world champions. They haven't been in, uh, in the rush to step in the ring with me. I have to take my head off to Jojo Diaz because um, he's a young fighter. And as a world champion, I wouldn't want anything less than a worthy opponent. You know, he, he was an opponent that was willing to come in there, give it 110%, push himself to, 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 to his limits. You know, um, he fell short. But um, God willing, if he keep pushing, he'll probably end up being the world champion. Last question. Now, what was the uh, biggest uh, factor here in this fight? Was it the jab to the body or the uh, constant attack to the body, or was it the movement? I mean, it was a little bit of both. And, you know, it, it, it was a lot of factors, you know. It was the lateral movement. It was the, uh, the hand speed. It was the jabs. It was the fact that whenever he did get close enough, to, to, to do anything uh, efficient. We will slide in, we will smother, we will tie him up, we will get back to the center of the ring, the referee will have to break us. Everything was strategic. Once again, in boxing is intellect manifested on the physical form. In most cases, the more intelligent person should win. That's what happened tonight. You're with the Urban Sports Scene, post-fight, Gary Russell Jr. versus Joseph Jojo Diaz, a 12-round unanimous decision for yep. Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Okay. What was your initial thoughts on the fight? We just got a chance to interview him. Um, he was a little disappointed that it went yeah. the distance. Yeah, I, I thought that Jojo brought, you know, brought, it to the, brought his game to the table. Uh, you looked at him going to the body, uh, good body work. In, in the beginning of the fight, but I think experience played a part towards the end. You saw Gary Russell use more of his lateral, lateral quick, quickness. He did a lot of jabbing. Uh, he, he, he slides to the left a little bit, then he went to the body, and then he, he did a little bit of combination going to the body, and then also going back to the top of the top of the head. So to me, I thought that as a vet, he showed he showed what vets do in times like that, especially in championship rounds. We talked off camera about just his strategy coming into the fight. It seemed like he wanted to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, stand in front of him, and that appeared to benefit Diaz. Yes. Um, according to Gary in his interview, said he made the adjustment around six, the sixth right. round or maybe right before that. Right. Uh, do you feel as though he shouldn't even have tried to fight that fight, considering he was at home and wanting to give the hometown fans a good show? I think that played a part. Obviously, playing, I mean, fighting at home, you know, you want to give the fans, you know, a show, right? But at the end of the day, I think what you saw – from the later rounds is what the, the fight is the kind of fight he should have fought in the beginning of the fight. Uh, but again, 
you know, it's, it's to me, it's easy to see that when you're fighting at home, you want to give a good show to your to your fans, to your audience. You want to, so you can't blame him for that. Now we were surrounded by all these media folks who, you know, asked Gary some good questions. Yeah. But upstairs there was chatter like, we're not sure if he should move up. He needs to fight more after this showing. Uh, What's your opinion? Honest opinion. We love Gary, by the way. We won't need to suck up to him, but uh, let's be real. He, he's been off for a year. Um, I don't think there was any ring rust. He was in great shape. Diaz yeah. acknowledged that. Mm -hmm. But still, um, not the fight we were expecting, nor was he expecting. I think you know, more activity is what he probably needs. So get more activity uh, because, again, he's still a talented boxer. Right. right. To me, he's probably still the fastest. He has the fastest hand speed in the game. So off that alone, his talent could take him as, as far as he wants to go. But he needs more fights to get to the level that he wants to be at. And I think once he gets more fights, then we'll see the Gary Russell that everybody expects to see. Very quickly, before we get out of here, uh, his younger brothers uh, fought very impressive. Very impressive. Um, Antoine had a knockout against an overweight boxer that- <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Well, because it, his physical condition, it just wasn't up to par. Uh, and, and I asked Antoine about that earlier too, you know, check that interview out. Mm -hmm. um, but overall good showing for the Russell brothers. What was impressive about Antonio and Antoine? Uh, they brought it. They brought. It, they brought the fight to the game. Like what they did was impressive because they didn't. They didn't respect their opponent. That's how I looked at it. They didn't respect their opponent. <laughs> they, were, they respected their ability more than anything. And they knew that they were good enough to pawn the show for the for the crowd for the crowd and the audience. And I liked the confidence. I liked the swagger. I thought to me, I knew what Antoine brought to the table, you know. But what Antonio did, I was highly impressed. Like what, like his uh, his going to the body. Uh, his hand speed, his anger, his aggression. That's something. Well, that's how he fights. And he always fights with Jordan's on, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, last question. Antonio and Antoine both graded their performance. Antonio said he would give himself a C. Yes. Um, Antoine, if I'm not mistaken, said A minus or just an A, not yeah, an A plus. Close, yeah, close to flawless. Nobody was able to ask Gary what was his grade. If you had to grade Gary tonight, what would it be? Say C plus. Um, wow. C plus. Because, again, I expect more. I think that the talent, the skill set, if he had fought that fight, that type of fight that he, what he fought in the later rounds, that this fight would have been over at six, six at the most. But in terms of, and when I say C plus, and when I'm going on the positive side, is that you know you want to see champions fight in a, in a championship in a champion way in the later rounds. When it's championship rounds, that you want to see your guy succeed and do the, and do and do the damn thing. And it's, in my opinion, in the later rounds, he showed you what a champion is all about. I'll give Gary a B, uh, just on the strength that he missed a whole year. Yeah. Um, but we, of course, we love to see him here at MGM National Harbor, mm -hmm. close to home, DMV zone, Gary Russell Jr. We hope to have him on the urban sports scene, uh, maybe in the near future. But check us out each and every Tuesday. That's it, post-fight, we're out.